There's no shortage of great climbs in the Santa Ynez Mountains of Santa Barbara County. Figueroa and Refugio are two that immediately come to mind. Yeah, but if you're in Santa Barbara proper, there's one climb that stands tall above the rest, and that is Gibraltar Road. It offers some exceptional road riding in a state that's famed for its exceptional road riding, making it even more special. You're laughing at us. It was so perfect. <laughs> famed. I'm sorry. We can do it over again if I mess it up. So there's two ways to get to the base of Gibraltar Road. You either start at the mission and come straight up. Most people head south for a nice cruise to Montecito and Summerlin. And then they follow Mountain Drive along the foothills of Santa Barbara. That's a great little warm up. Whatever way you choose, the plant itself is 6.1 miles in length, average gradient of 8% and climbs 2,600 feet and maxes out at 12%. And you won't see another road junction once we've passed El Cieleto Road, is that right? El Salito. El Salito Road, thanks very much. Yeah. Alexis. So Alexis, is this a climb that you regularly use at all? Yeah, it is. It's great for intervals, for just a nice four hour ride. You can make it a good loop along yeah. El Camino Cielo. As you can probably tell, today, for a couple of reasons, we're taking it pretty easy. We're just gonna soak up the scenery and what absolutely gorgeous scenery it is. And we both opted for casual shades as well, which I think emphasizes the kind of relaxed stance and kind of style we're gonna take this climb in. Agreed? Agreed. No half wheeling. Sorry. Thank you very much. Not that. <laughs> I must admit, in all seriousness, it's stunning, isn't it? It's absolutely it's, beautiful. It's my favorite place to ride in the whole world. Really? That's pretty cool, and that's on your doorstep. On my doorstep. It cuts right into the Monterey Shale Formation. Okay. Which actually runs all the way out into the ocean. Yeah. And that's where all of our oil is captured. Pretty unstable, especially in earthquakes. Yeah. Um, and we have quite a few of those here in California. So that's why you see all the rocks on the side of the road. <laughs> you have been out riding an experience in earthquake? Uh, I was out riding, but I didn't feel it. Okay, right. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what the, the fastest time is? At the moment, 29 minutes. 29 minutes. By a national caliber runner. A runner? A runner. Tell me he was on a bike, I think. Yeah. He's not right. Well, God, I hope so. So, just a shade under 20k an hour for an average gradient of what, 8%? that kicks up to 12 or 12 to 14 percent of places. Swift. That's pretty so fast. Currently, my guard assembly we're at 10 percent, which is probably why we're looking like we're rolling our gears a little bit. But from your, your knowledge, there's never been any big races come over here, right? No tour of California? No. Quite a shame. I think it's a, an incredible climb that the world should see. Well, that's why GCN's filming it right now. <laughs> so right now, we're riding past the little town of Flores Flat. Small community with a few houses, some small businesses, and it leads into the steepest part of the climb. Yeah, for the record, Flores Flat is not on the flat. No. As you can tell by my cadence. Yeah, what we are now, 11%. It's absolutely baking as well. We've lost the ocean view just for a moment. It feels like we're in a sauna. Or like an oven. Well, enjoy your last view of the Pacific Ocean until we hit the top. So, this isn't the top just around here though, is it, right? No, no. This is kind of a false summit. And then it kicks up for about another kilometer. Okay, right. So if you are setting a personal best time up here, then I recommend you probably go a little bit easy right now, because we're on what, 11%? but then it's gonna kick up for another K just after that. Well, we're heading to the top of the Gibraltar climb. Elevation now just over a thousand meters, a kilometer in the air. And if this was a race situation, this is undoubtedly where the attacks would start. Go on, Alexis. Woo! 
There he is. Finally made it. That was a Gibraltar climb, high five. Good job. That was, right. that was weak again, was it? Was Should we do one more just yeah. to get it? Oh, Whoa, solid. clarity. Solid. Right. So 2,600 feet, average gradient of 8%, maximum of 12. That's a tough, tough climb. Yes, it is. So what options do we have to go back down? Locals would usually head straight okay. on East Camino Cielo for several miles. Climbs a little bit more and you could either descend Painted Cave, which is a narrow, twisty descent, or Old San Marcos Road. Okay, so uh, what's the quickest way back? Straight back down the mountain. For a coffee? Yeah. Should we go for that one? Yeah. Definitely. And uh, for more iconic climbs, click up here. And to how to climb long climbs, click just down there. And to subscribe to GCN, click on me. A paper boy goes across the street, yeah. throws a paper. Uh, throws a paper. Paper boy. I think it's time to paper boy, Matt. Yeah, I think it is. This is uh, I'll, I'll try to go. Yeah. Is, oh, nice form. Nice form. High five. Sorry. Oh, high two. You know, that was really pretty like, bad. All of us got on the podium then. You gotta do that again. Was that weak? That was really weak. Okay, so, how's that? Yeah, actually look at the elbow. Look at his elbow. Is that what he's supposed Yeah. How to high five like a right, pro. Right. Uh, it's gotta be a good, gotta hear okay, good flaps. Okay, one more. It's embarrassing. No, that was pretty good. Okay, there we go. Definitely a two there. Hey, yes. Well, good. after all these celebratory antics, we finally reached the top. That's that poisonous, boy. that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> No. That's nice, nice. You can probably get a lot, quite a lot of nutrients out of that. We're taking your job soon, Phil. There you go. Nice one. Cheers, bud. That's 